pro punk. Just right. <laughs> It's so funny because when you were giving me this, this topic of Afro punk and I was like looking it up, I'm like, this this is my daughter. <laughs> I'm like, I'm We were having a little technical difficulties, but we, we finally got it together. <laughs> um, welcome to No Look Creative Line. We were having Line. a little technical difficulties, boo. Oh, oh, Lord. My, uh. <laughs> okay, so anyways, yeah, we had some issues. Any case. But we're back live um, like we never left. Um, today, we are doing a live painting and um we're going to be bringing on a guest painter she's an artist her name is irene beanie and i cannot wait to introduce y'all to her she's awesome and i'm about to bring her on right now irene where you at girl hi, hi. <laughs> How are you? Hey, irene. <laughs> girl now you know i need to get it together okay i was doing all that yapping and was not recording in thing okay <laughs> so anyway y'all irene introduce yourself to everybody who you are what you hello, do hello hello y'all my name is irene i go by irene Beanie. um but i am the owner and operator of Beanie paints llc so i am an artist this period i do face and body art um i do canvas murals instruments so my type my motto is just give me a brush and i'll paint <laughs> so matter of fact i just painted my mailbox the other day so i'm just an artist yeah um, <laughs> but i do a lot of different variations and i have a lot of different mediums and body paint is one of my favorites and i think i could kind of say that it's one of my favorites but um i just love painting so that's what i do i'm a painter i love your work it's amazing um, I actually have some, where is it? I load it in. Oh, I have to pull it up. <clears throat> Any rate. Uh, okay. So, yes, welcome to NOLA Creative Live, Irene, and whoever's watching. We are so happy to have you. Make sure if you're watching this, click that like button. If you haven't followed NOLA Creative, follow us here on Facebook. Um Today, we're going to be painting a theme that's called Afropunk. Um, Irene, you said that you, well, you didn't know a little bit about Afropunk, just, right? <laughs> it's so funny because when you were giving me this, this topic of Afropunk and I was like looking it up, I'm like, this, this is my daughter. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yes. Because this is yes. my daughter. You know, so. Even like into the a little bit of the music, but the overall dress, the attitude, that's her all day. So <laughs> Yeah, that's I, that I'm familiar. She, yeah, she she that's that style is really, really awesome and cool. So um I actually fell in love with the Afropunk. I was introduced to it by um by a friend and um they were telling me she wanted she wanted she actually is like a um mix a mixologist when it when it comes to drinks and she actually mixes up um like body uh care like so she does soaps and stuff like that yeah and she was telling me about afropunk this this festival this big festival and also i think i want to say that maybe nye or d um with who are other face painters that or my friends, um, they were talking about it too because I think this Afropunk thing, like they have it in different countries. Yeah, so it's, it's very like all over the world. Am I right? Huh? Is it kind of like similar to Coachella? Yeah, I um, I've never been to Coachella. Maybe maybe that'll change once things are normal again. Never been, but um, I have been to Essence Festival, <laughs> so I'm just thinking that it's like a a a. Uh, um, Afro punk version of that, like the Afro, like focusing on Afro punk music, that type of thing or whatever. 
But um, I, I th thought it was a cool, it has a cool history because it kind of speaks to our heritage, where we come from, our ancestors and stuff like that. And um, it, it just, it kind of is like a reclaiming mm -hmm. of like where we originate from. So um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be focused on today, trying to bring in a little Afro-punk-ish, you know? So um, yeah, let's get to it. All let's right. Do it. Let's do it. Okay. And you, you said you had your design and stuff together as far uh, as what you were doing? Kind of. Kind of, maybe. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what flows. You know? Right, right. Thanks. Um, but uh, just thinking about like the different products that I was going to even use for today, I'm going to start with it. I'm so glad I found it. So, so like, I hope I can find it. But I'm starting with a primer um, just for my face. I was going to do more so, some are more so something like um, something that you would just wear out. Mm -hmm. Not so much so, something like um, a body paint paint, but there is going to be some paint, but a little bit more makeup involved too. Now, I don't use, I, I only use a primer if I'm doing a uh, foundation. So tell me more about why you choose to use a primer before you paint. Um, I even use primer sometimes like when I do body paint. Primer just, it's, it gives you a smoother surface um, and makes your color stay longer too. Mm -hmm. So I like using primer, um, especially since I kid you not, but um, it just gives you a smoother surface. Yeah. Do you have, what kind of skin do you have? Brown? No, I mean like dry, oily. <laughs> we know it's brown, baby. We know it's brown. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. it's, my skin is very oily. It's very oily. Um, mm -hmm. I guess that I, I'm not complaining because it keeps me from cracking, right? Yeah, facts. Facts. <laughs> right. And see, I'm like but, super dry. I'm kind of, I might be dry combination though. Because some, some days is like, bad dry and then other days it's like some parts are dry and some parts are not so I don't know okay all right so I usually just start off with a primer and then um I am going to put like a little bit of foundation on our or if I can find it I don't know what I did with it yeah so yeah I'm going to get started too I, I kind of, I had an idea of what I wanted to do and then I started thinking about it and then it was kind of like, I, like the same thing happened to me yesterday when I was painting. Like I had an idea in my head and then I started painting and it did not turn out anything like the idea I had. But in the end, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Art is subjective. <laughs> Let it do what it do. Let it do what it do. <clears throat> person who wears a lot of makeup. I do not consider myself um, a makeup artist. Not yet. Yeah. Anyway. That is I'm, a different medium. It's similar. I, it's very, very similar, but it's still different. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real. Like me and makeup, mm -mm. like I'm, I'm very, uh, like, I don't know. It's just, I never, I've never grasped the whole contouring thing. I've never grasped like the whole cut crease thing. I, I wish I knew how to do all that, but I don't. I want to know. I want to know. You know what? Um, when I was contouring, that's what I was missing. So I'm missing a lot of stuff. <laughs> but that's that's another part that I'm missing. I'm, I am missing my contour palette. But when, when I'm thinking about, when I think about doing my makeup, mm -hmm. It's kind of funny when you think about like when I do a skull and you know yeah. how like when you're doing a skull, how you're adding the shade or the shadow around the face, around right. the side. Right. That's the same thing you will do with, with contour. Okay. See, I don't I don't know how to use the contouring. I I needed to I really wanted to buy a palette. I was gonna get one from the crayon case. Cause I, you know, I like to support, you know. Um, she's from New Orleans, black woman, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, 
and she's a self-made millionaire too. Well, excuse me. Hmm. But okay. So I I try to support her. I try to support her. I bought her palette, her eyeshadow palette, and then I also have her um her brow pomade, and I just got some new lipsticks for Juneteenth. But she uh I like her stuff. It's it's really uh nice and colorful a lot. She have a like a really nice palette that I like a lot. I haven't tried. Um. My palettes that I use are Tar Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. And today I'm going to be using. Yeah, I love Tar. So this is also oh, another pretty. black owned business. A female owned business. Yeah, yeah so these, 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 these ladies are doing their thing, man. They're doing their thing. And the thing about and it, so it is, we consume some makeup. Huh? Like I said, we consume some makeup. So it's good to be able to find people. That can give us our little makeup fix. <laughs> yes. So I use her barely, I think it's considered a uh, barely nude palette. And also, I don't remember the name of this one. And I look at it all the time. But if you go to her website, Tar Cosmetics, we actually have links in it. And if you, you want to purchase it and you use my coupon code Beanie, B E A N I E, you will receive 10% off your, your purchase order. So she has okay. a lot of other things out there as well. Awesome. Um, awesome. And I'm also gonna be using my I'm also gonna be using my my Q and K lashes. I love these lashes. The quality is superb. I'm a lash girl. I don't know if you guys can see, but look, I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> my eyebrows <laughs> I'm bald. So um that's funny. You know, when I um when I worked when I, I I used to do manage cosmetics department for a department store and we carried something called it was like something called Provage Lash by Elizabeth Arden and then we also had something from Lancome that was that was like a lash serum. Mm -hmm. Really works. I still okay. I still suggest the provide to people all the time because i literally have seen the results they it grows your eyelashes it really does i need a lot of growth then <laughs> so i just want, i contour my nose a little bit but um just a teeny little bit yes if y'all are out there watching please like this video, share it with your friends. There's two artists painting themselves, you know, trying to trying to um, start the Sunday, the week off bright and colorful. Our theme today, Afro punk. So. I have been, I had went through this whole phase of kind of being in my feelings about um, this COVID situation. And oh, yeah. I literally, March was looking, whew, March was looking so beautiful for me. So beautiful. I was so ready to just take over the world. And then it got real. I was too. I was too. I was getting all happy for the for the new season to come around and what? You know, because this is our season, you know? Yes. Yes, I do know. It's insane to me that it's insane to me that that just the whole world is going through this right now. Like insane. Insane. I just can't believe it. Yes. But um, let's see. The question is, coronavirus, how has it impacted our business? That's the question. That's the question. Let's talk about it. So what, what specific um, okay. um, things has happened with your business that was directly 
affected, you know, direct like behind because of coronavirus. What's your business? What's your face painting business? It was completely because the business that I have, the business is well, within Beanie Paints, my my face and body painting, but mostly my face painting business. It completely just like stopped. I think everything stopped for a while, you know, um, because I'm in the community. Someone who who would be hired for, you know. Um, summer events, birthday parties, community days, you know, all the summer functions that you would have. Right. You know, um, so now with the virus, with the virus, that, that made everything just stop. You can't, right. no one, no one is having big parties and things like that. You know, no, um, not at community, all. I would be hired by, by the, Communities at times, and that's not happening, you know. <laughs> yeah, thanks. that's not happening anymore. So, with like with that being said, it's business. Business kind of like came to a screeching halt. But um, in that time, I was just like, okay, I can't let this affect me. Right. Like I'm not going to let it affect me negatively. I'm like, all right, what am I going to do? And I had to think about different ways I could change myself and rebrand. Not more so like rebrand, but I had to think again, like outside of the box. Like, what am I going to do different? So, what have you been doing different? Or what can I add? Have you added something? Anything? Um, I've added to my website. I am doing online classes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Um, I added class. So, I've added paint classes. Oh wow. That's cool. So you can come onto my website and we can do a Zoom classes. Yeah, I'll be starting mine and so if about you wanted to either Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm I've been doing I've been kind of trying to organize the same thing as far as doing um the like virtual style sessions and stuff so i'll be starting mine in about a week or two but definitely that's one of the things that is like what what else like you can't physically be somewhere you know you got you have to you have to you have to adjust to whatever in order to survive you know um yeah I have done a couple of birthday parties, not a whole lot, um, nothing on the scale of what it used to be. And the birthday parties themselves are different too. So yeah. The crowd is small. So yesterday I went out and I did a birthday party. Um, and I think it was only like, I think I did like four faces. Yeah. And to me, I have, all, I have always been clean in any way. Especially when I am in the public and I'm um, working with children, people, wh whoever it is, I'm always like sanitizing in between. But now I'm even being more vigilant of that. So, for example, after each person, mm -hmm. I'm changing the water after each person. I'm sanitizing my brush after each person. Um, and I'm spraying my paints after each person. So it's... I, I have added that as an extra precautionary measure. I'm also, you know, wearing a mask. Yeah, that's that, and see, that's another reason why I don't see how so we're going to be able to go back to doing like um, festivals. Because <laughs> can you imagine? And I and and here, I think I think for um, New Orleans, like. Um, I want to say that like the festivals are canceled like for the rest of this year. So, I mean, that's going to be a blow to a lot oh, of wow. people um, because, you know, we were like on the high, the, the yeah, top like scale. We were like up there in numbers and now numbers are going back up. So, we definitely need the 
adjust and find other avenues. I've been trying to uh, go back to kind of making my YouTube videos and kind of doing that thing. But honestly, I miss painting. Like, not, not even, I mean, although mainly for a livelihood standpoint, I miss my clients. Like, I miss the kids. I mm -hmm. miss having somewhere to go <laughs> other than my house. <laughs> so, yeah. So for me, I can um, understand that completely. For me, like Corona, when, well, my last party that I, that I worked was March 8th. And I would have never thought that March 8th would be the last time that I painted for a party. And it's June, July. So, you know, I, I, I was like depressed for the first. And I wasn't depressed in March because I thought that it was going to kind of go away. I don't know why I had this thing like, oh, it's going to go away. <laughs> I just knew it was going to be gone. But then April came and I was like, wait. It's April. <laughs> it's April. What's really going on? Like, then that scared me. So once April hit, it was kind of like, dang, like, this real. Like, what am what am I gonna do? So um I was mainly depressed trying to figure it out, but I had to bounce back because, I mean, at the end of the day, I got kids. I got a husband. I got stuff I got to do. I can't be, like, moping. So you just, you kind of pull up your big girl pants right. and hop to it. That's all you could do. But I'm excited for what's in store. Like, at the end of the day, it's not in our control to really be able to be, like, you know, like, uh, it's not in our control to feel like, that like we should be kind of harping on that whole deal. Like we shouldn't be focused on that. Like of course it's there. We definitely have to acknowledge it's and you know acknowledge its presence because it's definitely going to affect how we run our businesses. But it shouldn't stop us from living our dreams or trying to figure out a way to feed our families. You know, so. I'm just interested in how this year is going to play out for the rest of the world. I mean, it's literally not even just the United States. It's the entire world. So, yeah, it's been kind of right. creepy, but I feel right. like we're going to make it through. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Yeah, we will. We're going to be all right. But uh, how, like, ha your clients have I love, people... I love, like, when you put the primer on, the primer, the primer makes this color just pop. So I'm yeah. using, as I said, my Tar Cosmetics, but I'm using her red. And, like, when you put the primer on, that was, I only just, I didn't, I just take it, I just apply it, and I just pat it in. And it just, I just love it. <laughs> yeah. So. I like that. That's pretty. So, um, let's see. Our next question is, what does the future look like for face painters? What do you think? Um... I kind of feel that the industry is going to change, but it's still going to survive. Yeah. I feel like, just like how we said, people are going to be getting really creative with how to kind of interact with clients. And we've already seen it. Like, on my Instagram, so many people have been trying to find ways you've seen celebrities do like celebrity concerts and you've seen like mm -hmm. just 
people do like what we're doing today, like this type of stuff. Not that this this is not monetary, but um, it helps to connect with your clients, kind of give them the information needed. So let let them know when you're gonna be back and working. I have my first party in forever scheduled in August. I'm working, y'all. You say you working? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um, working safe, safely, you know, still. But yes, I am working. Yeah, she working. Y'all hire she working. <laughs> Make that money, honey. But um, yeah, just trying to adjust. You know? And as I said, um, mm -hmm. what you said? I didn't hear you, Irene. Your mic cut out. I did it. Huh? Um, Madonna. I was watching a video, Madonna, mm -hmm. the, the, the artist Madonna. Yes. Um, I was watching a, a documentary years ago, years ago, and they were asking her, how did she still keep in business after all these years? And, and how did she still make herself successful? Right. And was, she was, she explained in, in the, um, in her, the presentation was that you have to change. You have to be on your toes. So even though something changes, you have to change along with it or you're just going to stop. Right. So when you're thinking about everything that's happening now, you also have to be an artist. So I look at my, my gift as a talent. Right. You know, it's, it doesn't only stop with face and body or only stop with, canvas it doesn't only stop with mural you know so this is a talent that, <laughs> that i have had since i was, was a child right and i'm just glad and grateful that i'm still able to use it so as Fair. i said a little bit earlier there's this other you just have to find it like another camp to work on and still make some type of monetary value from it and it is a little bit challenging at times, you know, but you just have to like switch your brain and thinking like, okay, what can I do? What can I do different? Right. Um, so for me, what I did different, um, I said, I started doing more um, painting on instruments. I do body paintings, personal painting sessions that I really find joyful, you know, and these are private sessions. So even though they're private sessions, they, people are paying me for their private sessions. So I'm doing one personal private session that I have. For them. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been, I've been trying to figure that the private sessions out because usually my private sessions are done at my house or the client's house. And honestly, I just don't feel like that's safe for me to go to somebody's house and where we are. Like if, if I was able to go to a place like outside of their house or somewhere where it has more open, you know, and I can a better controlled environment, then I probably would do it. But I haven't been able to work that out yet. I would like to. Okay. Because um, I'm, my, I'm, so I'm so ready to paint again. I'm so ready to paint again. What you saying? I said my last session, my, my last couple of body sessions that I did, it was in an outside setting. Um, yeah, that's the safest. You know, so it, mm -hmm. But see, a lot of, like with my body painting, I, mo most of my clients are naked like they're not um wearing clothing so that's why i don't know how i would make that i don't know how i would make that work i would have to figure that out 
Because, I mean, you can't be naked and outside. <laughs> can't be naked and outside. Can't do that. I love this yellow. I forget what brand it is, but. It's, it's, I think it's so funny how you get quiet when you're focusing on something. you like, wait. <laughs> Let me get this right here. I know, right? <laughs> but another thing, too, I've seen some artists doing are um, kind of um, doing their, uh, like, balloon art. And... <laughs> I'm literally afraid of balloons. Like, if I wasn't afraid of balloons, I would so be doing balloon art right now. But I am terrified. I don't like the popping noises. I cannot stand a balloon to pop. I, I don't like firecrackers. I don't like anything that pops. I don't like it. <laughs> but I've been seeing the balloon world go up like crazy. Anybody who's doing balloons right now, they doing they they doing anything. I am not into balloons. Me, yeah, I'm scared of them. I'm not a balloon artist. Do not want to be. I think it's cool, but it's definitely like not my thing. Home. You know, we could... you say definitely what? Yep, not mine either. I like it either. They're pretty. They're beautiful. You know? But uh, come through yellow. Yeah, it's not for me either. I, um, mm, no. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you on the balloons. I'm straight. So, I'm kind of winging it on this design. I found a pair and I like, so I'm going for it. Um, do you have any other artist people in your family? My whole family. <laughs> Yep. Your whole Somebody family for real? Family. Seriously? Um, yeah. Yeah. No what joke. kind of art do they do? Is it the same it's kind of some, some form, some variation of art? Tell me more about my it. Dad, my dad was a photographer. Oh, so wow. So my dad's a photographer. What, um, what kind? He's a photographer. He's no, he's no longer. Yeah, but my dad. Huh? What kind of photographer was he? Um, he did still. He did still when I was younger, but he also did um, motion as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my mom was a seamstress. <laughs> oh my God, you got the whole works, girl. Yeah, my mom was a so seamstress. So did she make like all of your um, outfits and My stuff? brother is also yeah, she did. <laughs> so you say like you could look you you like mama. I saw this in Vogue magazine. Can you make it? And she was like, Yeah, baby, I got you. Yep, yeah, my mom made my graduation outfit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. My mom, my mom was not a seamstress, but she knew how to sew. She would sew for us, but not for other people. So like me and my sister had like matching stuff and she wasn't like a master seamstress or anything, but she could make a little something, something, you know? My mom made everything. So um, my mom had her own sewing company. Wow, that's so amazing. So what was she sewing mainly? Well, thank you. That's what she was it like she did everything? Did she have she a did curtains, pillows. Oh, okay. So upholstery. 
Say that again. So like upholstery and like um home decor. Upholstery, yeah, she did a That's fire. Mm -hmm. She also did um clothing. Yeah, so I went to school. I actually went to college for fashion. So I'm I went right out of college, you know, I I was sewing and making clothes for people. Um I I wouldn't say that that was my my passion, but it was part of like my art, like an ex expression for art. And um Mm -hmm. But I, before I even wanted, before I even decided to go to school for fashion, I was in talented in arts all throughout elementary school. So it was kind of instilled in me to do something related to arts. And how I got introduced to fashion um, was through. Do you remember Video File? I mean, Fashion File. Do you remember that show? Mm -mm. It used to come on on ETV. No, I don't. Well, there was a show that was called Fashion File. And Fashion File literally went live from everybody's, um, like, in Paris when they did Fashion Week. They, it would go live, and you would be able to see Fashion Week. You would be able to see, like, every, like, the whole show. Like, they would put it on. Like it, like, it gives me goosebumps even thinking about it because, like, that's how like my obsession was insane behind fashion. Like the art, and it, it wasn't particularly like just the clothes or the outfit, it was the art and the thought, the creative thought process behind it. And like how, mm -hmm. how those people were able to express those thoughts through clothes. So it was insane. Like to have, to be able to do that. And I used to live, I have VHS tapes. That's how you know it's old. I had VHS tapes and I would I would record it. And I remember um one of like my favorite designers was, was John Galliano, which he kind of got into some trouble for saying some mean things. So he kind of been shunned from the fashion world. But um I remember that. Yeah. But his his artistic ability, aside from what type of person he is, his artistic ability ability is amazing. But now you have like all like of course the world has changed since fashion file, and you have people that they don't have to wait for validation in order to show their work or who they are, and that is the beauty of the internet. Like it, it was a time where you had to wait for people to tell you yes in order for you to move, you know, and do something that you wanted to do. Now it's accessible to anybody. And I feel like that's important because um, when you are excited about doing something and, you know, you don't want to have any, any barriers in a way, some of the barriers that used to be barriers are no longer barriers anymore. So it's kind of like breaking down walls, you know. So I can true, appreciate, so I can appreciate um, technology for that, for, for certain. True. And I completely been, agree with that. It's been amazing to watch artists, you know, even like I see Instagram accounts like blowing up and it's like basically kids, like they're like 20 years old and they like this. Everybody wants their fashion. Everybody wants their art. You know, you literally could be any age and do whatever you want and monetize it if you needed to, you know. You just gotta be creative and find that niche and and find your voice and your style and then show that to the world. But life is and a there's journey. so many things about about it. Is just like when you when you kind of tap into who you are as an artist, um, you grow, and from that growth you you kind of create you kind of find like your own your own design you know your own 
I don't know how to say it really. Um, but you kind of like find your comfort zone in it. Yeah. So just because there's so many, there's so many talented artists out there. And you know what? I really kind of hate the saying, of, oh, she's the best or he's the best. I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> you know, because there's so many of us out here that it's, there's more than one, you know? But, but it's more than one that could be the best. So they could be the best, be the best, be the best. If you want to claim that you're the best, be the best. I say claim that, claim that. Like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't see it. I definitely, to me, like, it's so many the best out of out there, you know. Like they have some fire artists in this world, like some fire artists. Like I, I come across some of the Instagrams and I'm just blown away. I got myself so caught up in watching Dane. There's a there's a a, a, a age. I know. I you know who I'm talking about? Her um. Which one? Who? Her name is Dane. She's a uh, a Asian artist. And she's very similar. She does similar like uh, illusion or like Mimi Lyles. I mean, uh, Mimi Choi. We just did like a little collaboration for Mimi Choi. But but uh, Dane, <sighs> wow. Okay, I got caught up literally like could not go to sleep watching her stuff. It's amazing. But uh, I say that to say like, it's so many people out here. So like that are amazing and it's like i said with art it's subjective like just the same thing with beauty you know what i might think is beautiful might not be beautiful to somebody else you see people that they have a whole argument about who the best rapper you know like oh this person the best man number one it's like to you <laughs> to you <laughs> so it don't bother me when people say stuff like that. Like honestly, it really don't. Cause that's that's your prerogative, you know. Mhm. Mm but you said your dad did photography. Were you able to get like courses from him? And did he let you, you know, use the cameras? All the time. <laughs> I had my own camera. Um, growing up and even from having my own camera he talked like this was you gotta realize how old I am y'all but <laughs> but my dad but you look good had, though but um, you look good he taught me how to do it from the start. yeah huh I say but you look good though <laughs> yeah. thank you yeah so he taught me how to do it in the dark room and that's something that's not even here anymore. You know, people don't do things from the dark room anymore. You know, meaning that he taught me how to develop the film with the developer and, and the solutions and stuff, you know? Yeah, now you only see that in movies. Like, you know, like you only see it in like right. movies trying to, you know, that type of deal. But I think people still do it, but it's made more so like in colleges or somebody who just really want to kind of keep it alive. But um, it's definitely not typical. Mm -hmm. Like the typical photographer is buying a camera and they on auto focus. <laughs> well, not I'm not gonna say that because they have some artists that know how to use the camera properly. But I know I'm a, I'm an auto focus type of camera person. Like photography, I'm an auto focus type of girl. I'm not. I don't um. I don't particularly uh. And that's something I, I really got to get better at doing. I have to learn how to do a better job with, with learning my camera and how to shoot on, on manual mode because I really don't. I'm not great with it. <laughs> but yeah, hey, y'all. I'm glad that you you guys are joining us. Um, if Before you leave out, if you can hit that like button or maybe even a heart. Um, show us some love. We have Irene Beanie here with us today. We're painting Afro punk theme, and um, yeah, that's what's happening. If y'all have any comments or questions, hit us up in down below. Let us know what's on your mind today. What y'all doing today? How was y'all Fourth of July?
I stayed home and painted. What did you do for the fort, Irene? Did you? I I did a party. Like you painted? I went out and I did a party. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. And then what? Um, I came home and I worked on a guitar. Working on this guitar, I'm getting ready to to get. You know, gonna be, it's gonna be on Etsy. So please come and follow. All right, My Etsy. Etsy I need to I need to follow your Etsy. I don't think I'm following it. I need to follow your Etsy. Yes, definitely need to find your Etsy. And then, yeah, did, did you ever get to learn how to sew from your mom? You were saying your mom used to sew all your stuff. Did you ever learn how to sew? I you weren't did. interested. Yes, yes, I learned how to sew from my mother. I learned photography from my dad. Um, I'm not a seamstress and I'm not a photographer, but I I know it enough to understand it. Yeah. You know? um, because I grew up around it. I, yeah. I grew up. Um, with the sound of a sewing machine, <laughs> I did. So I would go to bed with the sound of the sewing machine and I'll wake up with the sound of the sewing machine. Yeah, my my kids have grown very immune to hearing it. Um, when this COVID situation first started, um, I started making masks like almost immediately because um it was a need for it and i wanted to also donate to to the cause so i donated masks to some healthcare workers and then i started to sell sell them like for um you know just taking like a kind of donation to pay for my supplies really because it definitely is not something that you can survive off of but uh just basically allowing people to to pay for the supplies and stuff like that and then send them out. But it's been, it's been cool. Like I, I kind of stopped doing the mask because it, it was taking up a lot of my time throughout my day with my babies. So I'm not doing that anymore, but um, it was good while it lasted. I'm, I'm, pro I'm, co I'm considering doing it again just because um, they're starting to mandate the mask now in some states. So I'm just saying. If it's mandated, you need more than one. Yeah. My my child and the slime child. My daughter and her slime. That's all over. <laughs> I fell on the um the floor. So, any rate, how have your kids been um, through this whole process as far as like adjusting to being at home for the most part? Have y'all? What are y'all doing? And and what are y'all doing? Like, are y'all getting outside time and stuff like that too? Yeah, my baby girl, um, she plays softball, so um, she's enjoying playing softball outside. And you kind of think softball. You, it's not contact sport anyway, you know. Um, Praise the God. <laughs> they have the bleachers and everything. Yeah, they have all the bleachers um, marked off to where you can't even be on the bleachers, which is a good thing, you know. Um, Wait, so you have to stand up? Both out there now playing. You no, know, I just bring my own chair. Yeah, because you really can't control people like what they're sitting and stuff. So that makes sense. Like, and some people don't understand personal space. I'm sorry. They just don't. They've been upset by me, and I would have an issue. Like, excuse me, six feet, six feet. Right. Okay. I really like the way this is coming out. I don't know what I'm doing, child. But I'm just going to wing it.
So, you know what? I might just wear this out today. Do it. This is my. Do it. You don't want to ask me. Do I'm going to always say do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> Where are you going today? I, well, you know, I had to go run. <laughs> so um, I'm going to put in four miles today. I run. Um, but then I'll be four like, miles? I'll be like struggling that. with two. I'm getting better, though. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. You know, you got to start somewhere. So, um, yeah, I've been I've been somewhere. seeing a, a trainer for two days a week. Shout out to Body by Bobby. If y'all ain't following, I hit up on Instagram. Um, she been getting me right, man. Because okay. I I be trying to I be trying to let, you know trying to get over on my my workout sometimes because I be tired. But she was like, you can't give up. You can't give up. Okay. So she been really, really. That's right. She been really, really um, helpful to me kind of getting back. Because I before I had my, my kids, I was very, like, avid workout. Like, avid. Like, I always did it. Always worked out. But then... I I just got caught up in the whole mommy and work and stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. And now my body is so like, I am uh, just about no. <laughs> Your body's like, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. It does a minute, especially like when you, when you just get into like the the whole mommy thing, the mommy routine, because you forget about who you are sometimes, you know? Yeah. That's facts. Like, that's why self-care is so important. Extremely. So, so important. Now, I'm missing body pins. I was thinking about just doing um, Kyrie shells with body pins. Um, I love the chest part. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I think I am wear this out. <laughs> you think you what? Like I wish you know what I wish we did have something to go to. I wish I really wish we did have something to go to right now. I know, right? All you need is like a little strapless little uh long like flowy maxi dress. Yes. That'll be nice. So I am just adding some body glue. Hopefully, so this put your shells on. Stay. Yeah. So we have we have about seven, six, six minutes and some change. Is there some uh, anything okay. you want to say to kind of remind people about your business, about what you got coming up? How can they support you? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I have several different mediums, as I said earlier. I am a face and body artist. Um, I'm also doing canvas murals <laughs> and instruments. Should I give people a sneak peek? Hmm? Well, yeah, I, I want to see. But um, you want to see it? Yes. All right. <laughs> let, me, um, let me go grab it real quick. All right, go grab it. I want to see the finished product on Etsy. I, okay, I, I'll show you a sneak peek. Hold on. I definitely got to see it. I want to see. Okay, there she is. Just a sneak peek. Oh, wow. Oh, she's beautiful. 
I love that the elephant has butterfly ears. I've never seen that. That's bomb. That's pretty. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, are you, are you, so you're, you're making that for someone or is just going you. up on your site to sell it? I feel like that's going to sell fast. Um, this is for sale. Yeah. I feel like that's going to sell fast. And your this your is Etsy is Beanie so, Paints? I do both. Say again? Your Etsy is Beanie Paints? Yep. Beanie okay. Paints. Yep. So um, I use Q&K lashes. I think I was speaking about that a little bit earlier. Yeah. And I'm actually going to be using self-adhesive for glue strips. I love that. Um, but you can just follow me on Etsy when you want to buy instruments. I'm also going to be having Canvas up there. I'm going to start um, a whole series of Canvas. I'm just centering in on on African American women. You know, this Canvas. Okay. Art. Yes. So you will be seeing that. Yeah, because this time. Last year, I was planning to have um, a fashion show. So my fashion show was supposed to be, <laughs> um, I was going to have a beanie paint showcase. So, but- Oh yeah, we talked about that. Started. Yeah. So I was looking at venues, you know, I was going to be um, selling tables for people to come and attend and all that stopped. Everything stopped. So with that being and just because it stopped doesn't mean I'm going to stop. I just had to like myself and say, okay, what am I going to do now? So um, with that being said, I'm still going to do it, but I'm just going to have a, like a different, a whole different layout of it. Right. So I am using her ears. I love her. I love her lashes. You know, her lash, because I told you before, I'm just bald. But <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using her I am. My daughter went to do my makeup one day. She's like, Mom, you don't have any lashes. I'm like, I know. I never have. <laughs> that's funny. I don't. But that's all right, though. That's why they sell lashes. So that you could yeah. glue them on. Exactly. So um, they know where to find you. They know you're on Facebook. They know you're on Etsy selling some fire guitars with the, the artwork. Yeah. And that's yeah. cool. So you it's can cool. have one custom made. Custom, oh, okay, tell us, you can tell us more about that. So um, I also custom make one, not, I'm saying not the guitar, but the art for the guitar. I, yeah. I'll custom make one for you. So um, you have some designs that you want to have done or a picture, just let me know and we can make that happen. Um, not just guitars, but my girlfriend said, oh, so when are you going to do a baby grand piano? I'm like, speak that into existence. Girl, <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. Let's go with the baby grand. Let's go with the baby grand. That sounds like that. It would be so beautiful. Especially if you had like a, a, a particular type of room, like what you was like kind of with that theme, you know, going on. Be fire. And you're putting on the lashes right now, huh? Is that the glue you're putting on there? Or that's just a line. Yeah. That's the glue? Yes, this is a glue. That's smart to put the glue on like that. I always put it on the lash. Oh, girl, I used to do that. And I was just like, <laughs> one day I put it on like a liner, and it works so much better for me than that. It just that is so smart. So I, the latch on, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, my God, that's so smart. 
thank you. Never thought about that. I'm so doing that now. Yeah, so I just put and look back. every time I put my lashes, I get glue everywhere because I'm trying to. You know, <laughs> but I never thought to put it on like that. I should have thought uh, about that. Man, see, this is important. <laughs> This is important. I learned something to do. Because I really did not know that. So what are you doing with your business? What are you changing? <sighs> so in about a week, I'm launching my art boxes, which are um, going to be available online. I'm also launching a new website for that. Um, the other thing is too, okay. well, you know, you know um, then, you know, I had started this no creative live thing like um, a while back and then I stopped doing it. But I plan to continue doing NOLA Creative Live and um, just inviting different artists on to paint with me. Uh, that's not monetary, but it does kind of uh, allow me to kind of meet, uh, get to know artists a little bit better and do some more work, like just what I love painting and whatnot. Um, and then I'm also planning like how you were saying that you were doing like the virtual situation. I'm planning to do that as well. So I'm going yeah. to be doing like a virtual sip and paints where, you know, you can order your art kit and, um, you know, it has to be ordered by a certain deadline and then join us for the virtual art um, paint, paint and sip. So I think that's going to be kind of cool to do that. Um, and I, you know, we, we are, we also vloggers, my family that, that doesn't have anything to do with my art, my art business particularly. Um, but I do have a YouTube channel for Nola creative. So trying to make content for that so I can finally reach monetization because I haven't done that yet on YouTube. And then I've also kind of been for the last year, I've been kind of gearing up to launch my blog. It's more like a lifestyle blog, though. Um, so I, 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 I already post on my uh, like Instagram for it, but now I'm working on the website mm -hmm. that's kind of host all my uh, my blog content. So that's like there's something okay. I gotta have kind of up my sleeve with. Girl, with I do you. not want to wash this off. I'm gonna go outside and wear it somewhere. Yes, go somewhere. Let them see you. Bring cards. <laughs> Bring cards so they know. <laughs> right? This is what I feel like today. Yes. But that's what's happening with me. I, I, I'm so thankful to be able to, um, to just continue doing this. With I know that I have to somehow, you know, organize and get get it together to where, um, just whatever is in store for this whole pandemic situation. Um, oh, the other thing too, Irene is I'll be um, going back to. Oh, I'm sorry. Going back to um, uh, advertising my airbrushing because that's more of a kind of contactless yeah. way of doing it. So yeah, I'll be yeah. I'll be implementing some airbrush uh stuff going on, and I think that's going to be kind of important for my business. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. We we just gotta we gotta make a way, make this happen. You know. So it's imperative that we do what we uh -huh. gotta do as artists to keep our art alive. 
But okay, I, girl. I am so thankful that you were able to join us today. I'm so happy. You look beautiful. I know I'm halfway done. I haven't, I got to finish this. So I'm going to go finish. Um, just remember to send me a picture of your finished look so I can share it with everybody on my page. And thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate it. Yes. All right. Have All a right. Day, everybody. Bye. All right, y'all. That was Nola Creative Live. We are so happy that you were able to join us today. I'm going to go and finish up my face because I am far from done because I talked most of the time. If you haven't already, please like this video um, and like my page if you haven't done that. So um, I'll see you guys next time.